just thought I'd come on today whilst I make a cup of tea. I know it seems pretty basic, bitch, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying something different. So somebody recommended me a while ago. Does anybody know what this is? This is fennel and they're actually selling it in Aldi for once, which is great. So I think, because obviously if you've followed me for a while, I do have some stomach issues and I've heard fennel is really good for settling your stomach. So I'm going to make a little fennel tea. So I've already boiled my water. I mean, what part of this do I cut? I've never actually worked with fennel before, so this is going to be interesting. I mean, it might taste like uh, poo, but we'll see. I don't... Oh, that's aniseedy. So, literally, I'm just going to chop up a little bit of this. Might put some of um, the herby bit in as well. And I'm going to... Maybe, if I do this again, I might grate it in. going to stick it in here. Look how big my cup is. <laughs> Well, it only holds about 300ml of water, so it'll do. I'm going to stick some of this in as well. Make it a bit more bougie. Also, I'm going to use my Moroccan mint from Urban Herbs as well. So I've uh, cut up a few sprigs. I'm just going to rip it in. Not messing about here, trying to be uh, fancy pants, but... You know what? Stuff like this. There we go. I'm just going to add more water. I might actually add a little bit of my tonic. I made this last night, so it's just the ginger and lemon. So just add a little bit of that and then I'm going to let it steep for a little bit and I'll let you know where it is. If you're going to make this, I probably recommend to make your own tea bags or civet or use some muslin cloth but I'm just going all in because I can. <laughs> okay so taste testing of the fennel and mint tea. It smells nice. Mmm, okay, that's really refreshing. To be honest, I'm getting more mint coming through. So maybe next time I'll add some more fennel, but really nice actually. See, healthy as well. And if it sorts my uh, guts out, win-win.